So I wanted to give everybody a quick update. So we're about, about two weeks into June and everybody's feeling like, wow, this market's real hot. People are thinking, oh my gosh, prices are going up too fast. What's going on in the market? Is it a stable market? Is it just a bunch of pent up demand that's all hitting the market? Is this able to actually be maintained? So I take the guesswork out of everything. I go to numbers because numbers don't lie. So let's just look at it, what came out this week. So first, builder confidence. This is basically how confident builders are about the stability of the economy and for them to continue outlaying massive amounts of cash, buying land and building homes. Because if they're gonna deliver homes, they don't just hit the market in three months. They're building two years out many times. So they gotta know what's going to be forecast. And builders, big builders know what they're doing. They've been building for decades and decades and decades. And what did we see? Builder confidence here in the West, a 66, okay? Anything over a 50 is a positive feeling, meaning they are really confident about both the stability of the real estate market, the stability of the economy, people getting back to work, and people buying homes, okay? So we know interest rates are gonna be held low. Builder confidence is huge. This is up 24 points and is even higher than the readings pre-COVID, which is fantastic news. Second, purchase applications. Purchase applications are a leading indicator. They're not a lagging indicator. Leading indicator meaning we know what's gonna be happening in the future because what happens before people buy? They get pre-approved. They go out and they try to find out what they can qualify for. The most important and the first place to start when you're even considering looking at selling and buying a new home or buying a home for the first time. What happened? We're at an 11-year high right now. Now, yes, there could be a little bit of pent-up demand from March and maybe a little bit into April, but what are we seeing this fueled by? A couple different things. One, extremely low inventory. Two, interest rates are exceedingly low. Three, people are starting to really have faith in the economy as people are getting back to work. And what did they learn? They just sat in their home for six to eight weeks. What did they learn? Man, I really like more space. Man, I really like an extra bedroom. Man, I don't wanna be in the middle of the city. I wanna be a little bit rural so I have a little bit more. People are now feeling that ability to make that move and they're gonna also realize, hey, you know what, I can work from home. So I'm willing to commute that little bit because now I only gotta go into the office three days a week, right? So we're seeing that at an 11-year high on purchase applications. So expect that continued trend for the next three or four months of continual building at bare minimum, and I see it strong for at least another two to three years. And the last part is the demand to price ratio. What this means is people's purchasing power compared to what they can qualify for, right? So meaning, where do we see people actually getting qualified for versus their ability to actually buy a home in that market, okay? And what it means is if we have a zero, which means a buyer's up, meaning what's happening is it's pretty much out there, there's so many buyers that can afford to buy properties in the area and there's so much inventory, they can lowball offers, they're just gonna be able to absorb this very, very quickly. There's just way too much to way too much inventory and not nearly enough demand to take it because of people's ability to actually qualify and buy the homes that they're looking for. On the other side of a 100 rating, we see it as a seller's market, right? We see that there's a super shortage of inventory. We see that there's just so many people out there that can buy, there's just not enough inventory, right? So one side, we have a ton of inventory and not that many people that can qualify to buy that home. On the other side, we see so many people that can qualify to buy that home, there's just not enough inventory, right? So when we get too close to over here at 100, that can be what's called an actual market where people are paying too much, right? And where are we at right now? Only at a 68. So what that means is to give you a range, a 30 to an 80 is a very comfortable range in that market. So we are definitely in a seller's market where they, we're definitely having that shortage of inventory, but the absorption rate and people's affordability to buy that homes are still really strong. Why? Because interest rates are being so, so low. And the ability and the cost to rent versus the cost to buy is a very narrow difference, right? Now with interest rates in the high twos to low threes, somebody can put 5% down on a conventional loan and get a house payment the same or cheaper than what they could rent that very home for. And the great thing about a mortgage, it doesn't go up, up like rent does, where it, appreciate, it goes up three, four, 5% per year. Your mortgage payment, it's fixed, it doesn't change. So these real three simple factors let us know we're in for a great housing market, a great post recovery, and I've been yelling it for the last three months. Housing is gonna bring us out of this recession. Just watch.